side effects may include. OK. Anyone here... Anyone here thinking of meeting your girlfriend's parents? You thinking of meeting your girlfriend's parents? Yeah. If, a woman just went, woo, and then realised... I don't know if she realised she was a lesbian until that moment. <laughs> Is that what just happened? Is that what just happened? Or did you already know? I guess. What a wonderful night, guys. Congrats! <laughs> um, anyone here thinking of meeting your, your, your girlfriend's parents? If you're thinking of meeting your girlfriend's parents, you should know that there are side effects, and those side effects may include... Having your hand crushed by her father's very manly handshake. <laughs> no matter what you're eating, saying, Mmm, my favourite! <laughs> Looking at your girlfriend's mum and wondering if that's what your girlfriend's gonna look like when she's older. <laughs> Trying to have the quietest sex imaginable in a twin bed. <laughs> Ruining your sex life by putting a face to the name Daddy. And the final side effect of meeting your girlfriend's parents is breaking up with your girlfriend. <laughs> um, anyone here thinking of being a solid five? You think of being a solid five? If you're thinking of being a solid five, you should know that there are side effects, and those side effects may include dating other solid fives, <laughs> looking like a not so solid four when you wake up in the morning, <laughs> wishing there was a Tinder for fives. <laughs> Realising there is, it's called OK Cupid. <laughs> and the final side effect of being a solid five is living with the sad realisation that you have the potential to be a seven, but you're just too lazy to put in the effort. <laughs> Anyone here thinking of wearing a hat? Yeah, you're thinking of wearing a hat? Well, if you're thinking of wearing a hat, you should know that there are side effects, and those side effects may include looking dope as hell. <laughs> Having to tell people, no, I didn't get an awesome new haircut, this is called a hat. <laughs> Laughing at all the people whose hair got messed up on a windy day. Not you, though. You're wearing a hat. <laughs> Realising you accidentally wore pants that you don't have pockets and you don't have anywhere to put your wallet. Oh, wait, never mind. I'll just put it under my sick-ass hat. <laughs> Everyone cheering when you enter a room going, na 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 hat man <laughs> And the final side effect of wearing a hat... is waking up, realising it was all just a dream. Who are you kidding? Your father was right. You'll never be a hat guy. <laughs> uh, anyone here thinking of using the restroom at Pottery Barn? <laughs> if you're thinking of using the restroom at Pottery Barn, you should know that there are side effects, and those side effects may include... pretending to be interested in a Mila Christed... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> pretending to be interested in a Mila beaded crystal chandelier. Looking at au natural cereal balls, set of four, cream-coloured. <laughs> Turning to an employee and saying, Wow, these are very nice. <laughs> Asking that same employee where the bathroom is. <laughs> <laughs> Blowing up that bathroom. <laughs> Halfway through, having a panic attack, realising that you're sitting on a display-only toilet. <laughs> oh, God, they look so real. <laughs> Sprinting out of Pottery Barn. And the final side effect of using the restroom at Pottery Barn is feeling guilty about what you did to that Pottery Barn, so giving them free advertising on your show. <laughs> that